up you guys so today we're getting our in-game beat saber twitch chat again it's not in mod assistant anymore where it used to be since the lincoln park update and i'm gonna walk you through how to get it back so first we're gonna head over to github i will leave the link for this in the description below we're gonna click on the v3.0 rc5 and then we're just gonna download the enhanced stream chat v3 zip real quick once we have it downloaded here we can click show in folder uh, i'm gonna open it up you're gonna go into this plugins folder and you're just gonna copy the enhanced stream chat then you're gonna go to wherever you have your steam games or uh, if you have it in the oculus store you can go to your oculus games but mine's in steam so i'm gonna go to steam uh, steam apps next common and then into beat saber I'm going to go into my plugins folder and I'm just going to paste this file that enhanced streamchat.dll right into there. And then we can go and open up our mod assistant. And once our mod assistant opens up and we can see all our mods again, the chat core in libraries is the new one that we're going to have to uh, enable. So we can click on that. And you can install and update or install or update. Now that we have chat core with our mod assistant and the enhanced stream chat file that we downloaded from here added to our plugins folder, when we run our game of Beat Saber, it should open up a localhost uh, 8338. Um, I'm not running my Beat Saber right now, so this won't work. Uh, let me drag it over because I have it on the other screen. Okay, so it'll look something like this. Uh, it'll have your OAuth right here, which is important. You need one of these. So first thing you should do though is connect your channel by pressing the plus. Uh, enter your channel name here, and then click your OAuth token or need OAuth token. We're going to connect with your Twitch channel, and then you will copy your password from right there. We will come back to here, and you can paste the new password that it gave you into the login, and we're just going to click save. Uh, once it's done with the wheel spinning, it can't be reached right now for me because I'm not uh, actually running my Beat Saber game. So this page will load up for you automatically and it should have no problems right here. And just like that, our Twitch chat should be right back to the way it was before in our Beat Saber game. Um, maybe even styled a little bit better. So that's a great, great bonus for this one. It's super easy, you guys. I know you can do it. Uh, it took me a little bit of digging around, so if this video helped you, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, tell your friends about it so they can have an easier time getting their Twitch chat in-game again, and I will catch you next time.